For more on the UNH quarter, let's bring in Cantor Fitzgerald Managing Director Sarah James. She just hiked her price target on the stock to 644 from 591, and she says that it's uh, they'd be a buyer on the dip. Sarah, great to have you with us. Thanks for having me, Melissa. In terms of what is exerting pressure on United Health right now, what are the what are the, what will abate as time goes on? What will no sure. longer be issues? Because some of it seems structural here. Absolutely. And these are all industry events that should be hitting their peer group, which is why you saw the sympathy trades and the rest of the group. But we've got Medicare costs going up. Part of that is the IRA. That's going to continue. We're closing the donut holes so seniors have uh, less of an incentive to manage down their spending. And that's going to continue. We just saw a little bit hitting this year because of some um, manufacturer actions on pitching to doctors to get those script numbers up. Um, but the things that will abate are going to be uh, really the two midnight rules going to start the anniversary. That was a regulatory change allowing hospitals to charge more for an inpatient stay, classifying them as inpatient instead of observation. That's like a 4x difference in the cost per stay. Uh, for the same stay. And then also on Medicaid, coming out of the pandemic, a lot of people gained coverage. We've gone through now the process of checking everyone's income. It cut a lot of people off, some of them for not having the right contact information. They came back on when they needed a doctor visit, so they're coming in with higher costs. So these Medicaid costs and then also the Medicare hospital ones, um, they're going to start anniversarying, and we're hopefully going to be getting some price relief there on the Medicaid side. So do you think that United Health, when we, we cited this earlier, our, our resident technician who's on the show often calls us a godlike chart, and this has been a monster of a stock for so long, Sarah, but do you think that it should be valued at the same valuation that it has historically given the new pressures that it faces, especially one that, where, that you say will not abate. It doesn't anniversary. It's the IRA. And, and that, that impact will still be there. Yeah, that's a great question. And I think where investors are really struggling with this is you've had several quarters in a row with MLR above expectations. And this is supposed to be the gold standard safety play. And you see that in the valuation. Um, so right now it's trading at about a three-turn discount on 26 PE to where it's historically been, um, but it's still well above its peer group. We hiked our price target up this uh, today because we actually think this is a great time to buy. There's a lot of their businesses that we think are going to be getting better going forward. That's Optum Insight, their healthcare IT piece, Optum Health, um, which is their hospital and doctor area. And we do think that there is going to be, because of that price relief coming, some improvement on Medicaid margins, um, as well as hopefully down the line, Medicare margins. So we think buying on the dip is a great move today. Sir, it's Tim, and, and we, we like to buy on dips, or there's certainly a trading element to this show, and, th and that's why if you want to add in the fundamental call you have here, and the, you know, those multiples are about as attractive as we've seen in UNH in a while, but Andrew Witte, um, some people consider to be overly conservative, and that would make your trading call even that much more interesting. Any thoughts on that? I mean, it feels like he was not kitchen sinking, but he, he was not going to give you a glimmer of light today. Yeah, that's been a huge debate as I talk with investors throughout the day is, is this the clearing event that we all hope it is? And we think it is. When they put out guide of 8% growth, that's well below their normal 13 to 16. It's below where consensus was at 12% and buy side expectations of 10. We think that they took all of the bad costs that are happening in 24, um, assumed that there's a good amount of pressure that continues priced for that to get some relief. Um, and then you have rolling off of all of the one-time change-related expenses. So we think this was a good clearing event, and Guide was set conservatively.